Alright, hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic here, and today I will be doing a quick walkthrough of some of my favorite applications and tweaks for the uh, Droid Incredible. This uh, is currently running Cyan Engine Mod 7, Nightly 26, I believe. Let's just go look at the specs real quick. Uh, there we go. Cyan Engine Mod 7, Nightly Build 26. Um, and it's on the updated version of uh, Gingerbread 2.3.3. So let's get underway. The uh, first tweak, I mean the first application that I use constantly is ROM Manager. Basically what ROM Manager is, uh, cancel, um, it allows you to download ROMs. Um, so you can flash a custom ROM. So let's go to download ROMs and show you. So we have Cyanage Mod, which is, I'm currently running right now. You have a Koosh which is some, um, I think it ha adds a couple kernels and whatnot. Okay, so it's not loading right now. Alright, so some of them aren't loading. We have extras, which is super user, um, which is what you, which is what basically our rooted phone uses, rooted, um, super user, ask permissions for super user in order for um, rooted applications, which I'll get into a minute, which I'll get into in a minute, ask permissions from. And we have Mr. Bob Rowitz, which is another custom ROM. And a lot of these aren't loading because I am running a nightly mod that doesn't support most of these. And then we'll go down the list a little more. And you can see there's just a whole bunch of lists. I mean, a whole bunch of ROMs. You got I hate, I mean, IHTFP69, which is, oops, Sky Raider. And then if you go down here, this is the one I'm using, Night Engine Mod, Nightly Builds, 26. So that's my first favorite. That's my first. That's one of my favorite um, applications. And let me just also tell you that if you're gonna be downloading any of these premiums, you have to get a key off the App Store, or you can get it offline for free. I bought it for the App Store. I think it's like four dollars, and it's totally worth it because you get free app. You get to the um the you get access to unreleased ROMs. Uh, the next application is SetCPU. Which, this is a very simple app. This allows you to underclock slash overclock your device. So basically what overclock or underclock does, if you overclock your device, your device will run a lot faster um, depending on what your device is. You can't really overclock the Droid Incredible too much because of the um, the processor it uses. It uses, a snap, it uses a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor. Um, I'm not quite sure of the model number, but the highest you can overclock it is I think 1.15 gigahertz. Whereas the Droid X and Droid 2, um, the original Droid, you can overclock it by 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 gigahertz. So you could have a Droid Incredible, Droid X running at 1.4, 1.5 gigahertz, and you'll get a lot of performance increases. It does kill the battery on your device, and it will kill the processor a lot faster on the device. So your phone won't last as long. I, sorry if you hear the dog. Um, actually underclock my device when I'm not using it a lot. Basically what underclocking does is it saves your device and increases the um, increases the life of your processor because it's not making it work as hard. I have minimum set to 245 so basically when it's not doing anything like now it will be running at 245 megahertz and if it's going to go on the internet or something it will go up to, up to 652. If I play Angry Birds or I play any games I will typically bring it up to a gigahertz or more so there's no lag and I can definitely tell the difference. Um, and then you go over to profile and you can add different profiles so as you can see my on demand I have it set to on demand so basically that means that it will the processor will act according to the um the processes going on whereas if you were to set it to let's say power save it would constantly on the lowest setting or you were to go to performance it would constantly set to the highest setting which means um power save would be constantly running at 245 where performance would have it constantly running at 652 um, and the profile, I was just, just going to show you, but I, that came into my head. You can set it so if your screen goes off, you can have it minimized so it only goes up to 422 megahertz and goes down to 245. And then you can advance, and I don't recommend playing with this if you don't know what you're doing, so we're not going to really go back and talk about that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. And then you can test all of these things. So, short test, lower is faster. 
long bench and it lowers faster again and pretty much that's it and then you have the type uh, this is set CPU 2.0.4 my next favorite application I like to use, um, I'll just talk about these. These are, these are for non-rooted devices. These over here are for rooted CPU and RAM manager. I like Foursquare, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm not going to really get into that too much because you all know what they are. And then Shazam. This is a nice app if you need to um, have a song that you want to know but you want to identify it. But you don't know the actual name of the song. So all you have to do is hit the button and it will put up to the song and it will identify it. And then here are all the songs that I have um, identified. And let's go with other. There's another one I wanted to show you. Oh, Androidify. This is cool. It allows you to create your own Android guy. So, oops. So you can hit menu and you go to new. And let's turn the volume down a little bit. And you'll be greeted with a regular guy. And then you have the ability to customize it. Make them what you want, and you can hit the close hanger, and it will bring up a list of all of these, and you can, you know, make them look the way you want. And it's pretty cool, it's fun to play with, and you can set them as contacts, so you can make it look like a friend or a family member, then you can set it as a contact, so when they call, this is what you'll see. And that's a free application, let me go over the prices, uh, free, 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 two dollars, free, for premium, it's four. Um, the ROM itself is free. The ROM manager is free. Then you want to go to um, buy the um, premium code, and it's four dollars. And that's really it. I like these. Um, I'll show you these. These are the little widgets that I constantly use. They're nice, so you don't have to go into the um, menu and then go to settings and have to change it constantly. You can uh, just add these. I don't know if these are widgets that are just for CyanogenMod or they come with all of them, but I've ever since I've gotten the device, I've pretty much run CyanogenMod. And I'll just do a quick walkthrough of each widget. This is airplane mode. Um, so basically you hit that and it will turn off all signals. Turn it back on. You got vibrate. You have 2G. So if you want to disable 3G and you just want 2G, you look 1X, you can have 1X running. Then hotspot tethering. Um, CyanogenMod actually comes built in with a free hotspot tethering uh, plan. So I constantly use that with my iPad. It's cool and junk. Um, and you can just enable it, disable it here. Brightness, you can set the brightness. So brightness is on auto right now. Then it's off. And then I have it set to here, which is what I've chosen. And then um, this button, this little one right here is for um, syncing with your Google calendars. So I have it set off because if, it don't, if I have it set, it will push every 15 minutes and it really kills the battery. This is 3G. That is Bluetooth. Um... GPS and then Wi-Fi and you can all just monitor them right from here and then there's one more um maybe not oh quadrant test that's what I wanted to show you quadrant test is basically it will show your device um, compared to other devices um, right now CMS 7 isn't running great just because it's in um it's in real early beta, so say stocks yeah um so if you were to run it at a one if you overclock it at 1.2 and you run this it will compare with the Droid X but if you were to overclock this and run it on CMS 6 um when it's a final build it will be easily killing the competition just because it's a nightly build and it, has, it doesn't have all the bugs worked out so um yeah this was just a quick walkthrough of everything on my phone that I like to use and but I don't like I mean I don't really dislike a lot the only thing that I don't like about the phone um, the build rather is you know the battery isn't great but that will be worked out in later models but it's a good build um, the applications I use are really good especially the SEP CPU and ROM manager and I like the widgets. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions about what I was talking about, um, any questions about any of the applications, just let me know. But for Apple Fanatic, it's me saying peace and have fun with these applications because I sure have.